No matter what you do, do not underestimate the brutality of Ridu Fogat. Coming all the way from India, Ridu Fogat is one of the newest female breakout stars in MMA. She's been so dominant in the last couple of years, winning seven out of nine professional fights. She's excellent on her feet and a true tigress on the ground. Ridu competes under the One Championship promotion in Singapore. And even though not many people know her yet, or even know just how good she is, she's had a phenomenal beginning as a fighter in MMA. The type of beginnings we saw with Amanda Nunes, Valentina Shevchenko, and Chris Cyborg. So who is Rita Fogat and just how good is she? Stick around as we take a deep dive into her gradual rise in the world of MMA. Let's begin. Rita Fogat was born on the 2nd of May, 1994 in Balali, Haryana, India. It didn't take a soothsayer to predict that young Ridu would one day enter into combat sports given the fact she was born into a family of wrestlers. Her father Mahavir Singh Fogat is considered a pioneer of professional wrestling in India before he became a coach to younger prospects. Some of those prospects include his two daughters, Rita Fogat and Babita Kumari. Mahavir trained Ridu's two sisters so well that it led them to get achievements at the highest level of the sport. This even inspired the movie makers to make a movie about the Fagat family titled Dangal, one of India's highest grossing movies to date. All this weighed down on Ridu, who knew from a young age that she had a family name to uphold. And even though there wasn't any pressure from her father, little Ridu knew it was something she just had to do. She discovered her competitive side as a child because she was very mischievous. She did things like switch off her father's early morning alarms before they rang, or even drain the entire electric power in their inverters. This was coupled with the fact that she was in a lot of squabbles with her sisters over where to sleep or who got the remote first to watch TV. But that's not all that bad, right? We can all relate to such mischief at some level. Anyway, when Ridu's father Mahavir noticed her competitive spirit, he dedicated his time to coaching her into becoming a wrestler at the age of seven. She also got involved in the traditional form of wrestling in her hometown called the Dengals which in English translates to mud wrestling. She'd wrestle with the boys and more often than not end up winning. It was a solid beginning for her and from there, she graduated to international wrestling competitions just like her sisters. In 2014, she made her debut in the international arena. Back then, she stood for the 2014 FILA Junior World Championship held in Zagreb, Croatia. By 2016, Ridu Fagat had bagged two consecutive titles at the annual national wrestling championships. In Singapore, she competed in the 48 kg category and won the gold medal at the 2016 Commonwealth Wrestling Championship. Before 2016 ended, Ridu stood as the most expensive female wrestler at the Pro Wrestling League auction. In 2017, she won silver in the 48 kg category at the World Under 23 Wrestling Championships. This also signified India's first silver medal in the championship. But all through her days competing as a wrestler, she couldn't seem to take her mind off other forms of martial arts like kickboxing, Mai Tai, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. While her entire country wanted her to represent at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, she consulted her dad and sisters on her intention to switch over to MMA. Though they all had little to no idea of what MMA would be like for her, they supported her decision to begin training. Not knowing where to start, she joined Evolve MMA, where she met masters in every form of martial arts, world-class trainers, and so many MMA champions. From there, it was announced via major Asian sport outlets that Rita Fagat had signed with Singaporean MMA promotion One Championship. Fagat made her debut in the atom weight division against Nam Hee Kim in November 2019. Before going into the fight, she made it very clear that her major goal in MMA was to become India's first world champion. She took the first step to achieve that goal by getting a TKO victory over Nam Hee Kim in just the first round. As expected, she resulted to her wrestling roots by taking the fight to the ground right from the start. In her second takedown attempt, she caught Kim in the half guard position and sent heavy right hand punches to Kim's head before the referee called the contest off. Following her first match, her next opponent was Wu Chao Chen on February 28, 2020 in Kalang, Singapore. Chao Chen was a way tougher opponent for Fagat. Chao Chen is a kickboxing specialist, so she was particularly light on her feet throughout the fight. However, Rito Fagat was able to get a few takedowns and systematically worked her way to a unanimous decision win. She was 2-0 and very well on her way to becoming a champion. 
Her next two fights went in a similar fashion. She finished Nao Surey Pov in the second round via TKO and finished Jomari Torres via knockout in the first round. She was 4-0 in MMA and was definitely making millions of Indians around the world proud. But one fighter was ready to put an end to Rita Fagat's streak. That fighter is B. Wien. On May 15, 2021 at One Championship Dangal, Ridu Fagat faced B. Wien in a three-round contest. Ridu took the fight to the ground like she always does and was very dominant for most part of the fight. She had B. Wien on her back for almost the entirety of the fight, but after nothing could separate both women, the judges scored the contest in a split decision to B. Wien. The loss was a major setback for Rita Fagat, not only because it was her first loss in MMA, but because the loss knocked her out of the Women's Atomweight World Grand Prix Tournament. But she didn't quit. She made a comeback two months later at one championship battleground against Lynn Hickwin. She rightfully won the fight via unanimous decision and won her next fight against Meng Bo still by unanimous decision. After defeating Meng Bo in the Grand Prix quarterfinal, Fogat was supposed to face the undefeated Itsuku Harata from Japan in the semifinals. However, with Harata having a high fever just a few days before the fight, she had to pull out of the tournament. As a result, Olsim, who beat B. Wien, stepped up on a short notice to fight Fogat. In the first round, the Indian wrestler got multiple takedowns and frustrated Olsim by avoiding her attacks. As a result, an angry Olsen committed a foul towards the end of the round by landing a kick on Fagat's face. As per one championship rules, fighters are permitted to give blows to the head using their knees, but not kicks. Fagat then received some time to recover because of the illegal attack, with Olsen getting a warning from the referee. Fagat continued her dominance in a similar fashion in both the second and third rounds to pick up the win over Olsen, who simply had no answer to Rito's wrestling paralysis. But again, this fight had a little controversy to it. Fagat appeared to intentionally drive her forehead into Alsim's in the second round, a move that is illegal in one championship. The referee did not show Fagat a yellow card, which would have cost her 10% of her fight purse. Fagat could also have potentially been shown a red card and disqualified if the illegal strike had left Alsim unable to continue. Fagat did admit that it happened, but simply said she wasn't aware it was against the rules. While she got lucky there, she ran out of luck in the Adam Lake Grand Prix Final. But hey, you're in luck today. We've got a monthly shout out contest for our subscribers where we give you the chance to earn a free shout out in one of our videos. All you have to do is subscribe to our channel, comment I subbed in the comment section down below to enter this contest. That's right, just go subscribe and comment I sub to get that free shout out. On the 3rd of December, 2021, Rito Fagat faced former kickboxing and Mai Tai world champion Stamp Fairtex for the 2021 One Woman's Atomweight World Grand Prix Championship. Fairtex's game was to keep the fight on the ground and avoid the deadly ground and pound of Fagat. The first round saw Fagat attempt to take Fairtex down, but Fairtex countered every attempt by striking her left knee to the body of Fagat. In the first minute of the second round, Rita Fagat finally got the fight to the ground after taking down Fairtex. But going to the ground might have been the worst idea because Fairtex was able to capitalize on her position and get Fagat in an armbar lock, leading to Fagat tapping out and losing the match. Rita Fagat ended up being the 2021 One Woman's Atomweight World Grand Prix runner-up and currently holds a record of seven wins in nine fights. So our question to you is, do you think Rita Fagat can become India's first world champion? While you answer that, make sure you check out this other video showing on your screen right now. See you next time. Bye.